Welcome to my channel. My name is Claire Dissibé. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run biometric fingerprint enrollment on verification system in Visual Basic. So I have designed this project using Visual Studio Professional 2022 and uh, the language I've used for this project is Visual Basic. If you like, you can call it vb.net and then the database is SQL Server Express. I'm going to take you through my guide here. Now we have a supported fingerprint reader. We have um, I've used the Z -tech, uh, ZK Teco um, fingerprint reader, but the supported um, reader in the ZK Teco series is ZK nine thousand five hundred, um, ZK Teco ZK four thousand five hundred, ZK Teco SLK twenty R. Um, so these are the supported fingerprint reader. So if you have one of these fingerprint reader, and then you can be able to use this project. Um, the IDE used for used to, to develop this project is Visual Studio Professional 2022. Um, if you don't have it, you, you can you know search on Google and then download it from their from Microsoft official website. So the database that I've used for this project is SQL. SQL Server Express. Okay, so let's go back to our project. Now we have the um, enrollment form on the screen. So I have used a very basic information here for the user. Um, these are some of the demo records that um, we have used um, while testing. So we have the person's ID, we have the name, the email, the gender, and the mobile phone number. All right, so for the profile photo, I've used webcam to um, um, capture um, um, the person's photo and then you can also decide to browse the photo and then upload it right here. So for this webcam, I've used uh, um, AMGU CV and then open CV, you know, to capture just for the camera. Okay, so you can you are free to use one of these, either the browse photo or the um, your webcam. Okay, so um, Quickly, I'm just okay. Now, this is how the enrollment form works. So, I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to take you to the verification um, form. So, the verification form, um, once you capture your fingerprint and your data is being stored in the database, so both your, both your, your details and the fingerprint template. Uh, being safe in the database. So once you, those information have been safe, um, the person comes back to verify his or her details. Now, what happens is that the person will now place one of the captured um, finger on the scanner. So the system is going to um, capture that fingerprint and then compare it with existing template stored in the database so if match is found and then the person's uh, information and the profile photo will be displayed um, on the form showing that this person has been verified or this person um, is a verified person okay so um, that is how this project works and then I'm going to click close here and I'm going to click on the admin here you can register admin let's say for instance uh, um, you have another person that wants to manage the system of course you can create account for that person so we have two modules um, that is the um, administrator and the staff so the administrator have the privileges to um, do enrollment and also verify but the staff can only do verification the, ha the staff doesn't have the privilege to do enrollment. So this is how I've designed the system. Of course, anyone is free to modify the system. Okay, so I'm just gonna close here. All right, and then I'm just going to log out. I'm going to log out and then I'm gonna close my Visual Studio. Um, I'm gonna stop here, right there. And then and I'm going to close the solution. I'm gonna close this. And I'm going to close this. So I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to um, run the project. Now this is the project. If I open this folder, you're going to see 
all the files that are contained on the project okay that's the vb.vb um, signifies that the project is designed um, using um, visual basic that's vb.net okay so i'm going to go back once more like this now this is the solution file i'm going to double click here to open So my project is going to load in Visual Studio, okay? So I like scaling my Visual Studio to 100%. I'm sorry if you're following me and uh, you didn't see this, so you shouldn't bother. But for me, if you see it, just click on that 100% scaling. So it's going to restart Visual Studio um, so that you can have your 100% scaling. Okay, so I'm going to close, close this guy. All right, so on the Solution Explorer, I'm going to click on this. So once I click on that, it's going to show all my forms and everything that I have on this project. Okay, so if you click on this small icon right here, show all files, you're, you're going to see this bin. If you click on the bin, uh, click on the box, you can see your database. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to run this project. Um, you've seen the Solution Explorer, you've seen the Server Explorer, okay? And this is all the property window too. All right, so now we are going to run this project. Make sure your fingerprint reader is connected. Uh, mine is already connected, so you are free to do that also. All right, so I'm going to click on Start to build the project. All right, so here I'm going to log in. I've created a, a demo login credentials. I'm going to log in with it. All right, so I've logged in as the administrator, and then here I'm going to click on enrollment. All right, so these are the few demo um, details, the testing data that we have used. So um, the ID is generated automatically, um, but I've left the text box open. Should you decide to, you know, um, enter your own ID? All right. Um, else it is auto generated. So here I'm going to enter, start filling the form. Those are demo data. So I'm going to fill in this form as a demo data. Or oh, I'm using demo data. So here I'm just going to enter this. And then for the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to use the webcam. I'm going to click on browse photo. I'm going to use this photo. All right, so now this is what happens. Yeah. Um, first, you're going to fill out these details before scanning your fingerprint. And you're expected to scan the same finger three times. So if capture is complete and successful, um, the system is going to save your data automatically. You don't need to click on any submit button or do any other thing. So once you fill this data, just scan your fingerprint. And once um, it's successful, the system will um, save your data. Okay, so here we are going to scan our demo fingerprint. That's the first one. That's the second. And that's the last one. So uh, fingerprint record safe. I'm going to click on OK. And we have the fourth demo data right here. That's the one that we just entered. OK. So um, we are going to close this form. You see the ID ha um, has changed. I told you that is auto-generated. All right. So this is what we just uh, entered. The data we just, the demo data we just entered. So I'm going to, you know, click on the close button right there. Then I'm going to go to verification. So here we are going to verify our fingerprint. So what this happens is that once you place your heart, your finger on the scanner, your capture fingerprint on the scanner, it's going to, uh, you know, take your template and then try to match it with all the existing template in the database. So if match is found, and then it's going to select that record that has those fingerprint, that fingerprint, 
and display on the screen. If match is not found, and then it won't display anything. So let's let's verify our fingerprint. Yes, so this person has been verified. It, it, this person is a verified user. Um, those are the demo uh, data that we just entered. So um, now the verification um, form gets ready automatically once someone's verified. It gets ready the next person's um, verified too. So you don't need to close this form and reopen, no. So let me show you, for instance, um, the next person can also verify right, right now. So that is it. That is how it works. So I'm going to scan a fingerprint that uh, um, is not in a database. Then you see what happens. Yes. So once if um once a fingerprint that is scanned that doesn't exist in the database, um, is going to show that. Um, this person that finger is not verified and the form will be reset so once i come back to scan any finger that is in the database automatically that record will be displayed and the form will also be ready for the next fingerprint sorry for the next person to also verify so again i'm going to verify this you see that i'm going to verify again i'm going to verify again and then if someone that comes that doesn't have a fingerprint on the system and then it's going to tell you that hey um, this fingerprint doesn't exist in our database and your record is not verified so typically this is how this um, project works okay so um if you need the project in c sharp i'm going to leave a link in the video description and so that you can get that project and then if you like this project and uh, you can click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching um you can check the video description on how to get the project